art as a language. Ever wish you could tell your friends about the way you feel, but were afraid how they would take it? Ever felt that words were not enough to express your feelings? A language can be limited when it comes to expressing emotions. Part this is because some of us were taught to keep our feelings to ourselves, never to show our weak side, not to impose on others with our problems. Some of us might lack the necessary vocabulary to express our feelings, because no one taught us how to talk about them. Instead, we learned that doing so would be inappropriate. But bottling up our feelings isn't good for us. Eventually, they pile up so high that it becomes hard to socialize and achieve our goals. We start feeling bad about ourselves, disconnected from everything around us. To be honest, the world around us doesn't help. Society forces us to create a persona that fits in and that makes others think we're always okay, in control, and happy. But it's hard to keep up this persona all the time. There's much more to us than what we're expected to present to the world. Sometimes we need to let ourselves be free and let our real feelings show. At the end of the day, although some of us have learned to be ashamed of our differences, they're essential to us because they're exactly what makes us unique and truly ourselves. So how can we get the relief of expressing our feelings in the most honest way and be proud of doing so? One good answer is art. Many artists who let their imagination run wild in their artwork were admired for their artistic honesty. Many of those artists weren't professionally trained, learned the language of art just by using it, because they really needed to express their feelings freely and spontaneously without regard for social norms and expectations. While verbal language is based on words, the language of art consists of visual symbols. While words have a limited amount of meanings, visual symbols have almost unlimited amount of interpretations. So although you might have a strong feeling that an artwork means one thing or another, there's no way to know for sure, because there's no set way of interpreting it. Thus, an emotionally charged artwork helps you keep your privacy while allowing you to share your feelings with others openly. The more emotional your artwork is, the more mysterious and interesting it may seem to the viewer. Emotionally charged artworks can be very powerful and evoke deep feelings in the people who view them. Viewers can instinctively relate to the emotion you expressed in your artwork, and as a result, feel as if your art gives voice to their inner world too. Now, if you've never done art before, don't be discouraged. You don't need to be a professional artist to use art as a language any more than you need to be a writer when you use words to communicate. All you need is to let go of your judgment and allow yourself to enjoy the process. Many artists notice that when they feel very emotional, all they need to do is pick up their art tools and then the image will simply come out. Often the artists don't know what their image will be when they start creating it until they notice that their lines resemble something familiar. Something that was in the back of their mind, maybe, that they weren't consciously thinking of. Just like when you're doodling, you might not have a clear idea of how you want the finished artwork to look. You don't need to have a specific plan when you start making an artwork. When your image comes together spontaneously, the emotions that your mind was struggling to express often come out almost unintentionally. And when you look at your finished artwork, you might realize that it symbolizes emotions that you struggled to express before. As a result, you may feel a sense of relief and a deeper understanding of yourself. And you might say, oh, I'm not good at art, I have no talent for it. But when you use art as a language, the point's not to create artwork to send to a gallery, but simply to express yourself so you don't bottle up those negative feelings. Sometimes you can benefit even more if you decide to show your artwork to others, like your friends or anyone else. Your friends may feel the same emotions as you do, but just like you, they don't know how to express them. Showing them your artworks might open a door for a deeper connection between you because your art can reflect parts of their inner world as well as yours. The great thing about the language of art is that it doesn't have to be realistic. It doesn't even have to be beautiful. It only has to be honest. And to be honest when using art as a language, you have to be spontaneous and adventurous with it. So let go of your inhibitions, explore your inner world through your artworks, and then, if you feel generous, Send it to us for a chance to be featured in our gallery.